Start of the morning or feeling good and feeling so much the better for tuning into your feel good breakfast show on this Tuesday morning. When you hear that track, you know it means only one oh. thing. We get to catch up on the great stuff and the bad stuff down. sometimes happening in entertainment, but right now, only good things, right? Only yeah. good things, only good things. Our comedians are definitely flying the South African flag very high. I'm um, speaking about one in, partic in particular, Tatsun Konzo. He's managed to bag himself a profile in the renowned Vanity Fair magazine. Hey! Hello. 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 Yeah. So cool, because the latest issue of the magazine features seven comedians from around the world who performed at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and this year was Tats' debut with the show African, uh, The African with Wi-Fi, and he actually told the magazine, <laughs> don't he, laugh, don't he laugh, says, don't my greatest fear as an artist, and I think a lot of us can identify with yeah. this, he says, my greatest fear as an artist is that I'm forever going to be in a state, a constant state of self-doubt, that I'm never going to check and realize that I am awesome, and then yeah. just <laughs> live in a frequency of awesomeness. Uh, so well, once I think we're always in dieting. Vanity Fair, you are awesome. Yeah, you just are awesome. <laughs> No, no, it's for real. But listen, I think horns were going off yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Tell you tell us because you oh, know. Oh, that you know. You were telling you us know something why. else. Okay, yeah. cool. So um, <laughs> let's just <laughs> Any, anything you want to reveal right now, man. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> let's all just you know confirm the fact that South Africa is the greatest place to be in the world yes, right now. Yes, okay? yes, yeah. yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. being, Tebow Touch Radio DJ Tebow Touch has just announced that he's bringing Drake what? and Floyd Money Mayweather to South Africa in 2016. Drizzy and Money. Mm. This is Drizzy happening, people. Money. Does that mean Floyd is about to start a rapping career? Do you think that's the next phase of his career? Probably. <laughs> My <laughs> word, that's, well, that, that is super stardom right there. I know. Well, he hasn't revealed exactly when he's bringing them to the motherland, but uh, we'll have to <laughs> uh, we'll have to wait and see. He has promised to give us full details re uh, regarding Drake and Floyd's South African trip. So I'm excited about oh, that. Oh man, Tebow is building himself an entertainment empire. Yeah. Absolutely love it, man. Love it. Mm. Absolutely. Well, what do you get when you put a young electro pop top 40 artist with a solo guitarist, folk singer, and anti apartheid struggle fighter in the mid 70s? Well, you get a vibey new track as proven by none other than Toya DeLazy and the legendary David Cromer when they wrote Deja Vu as part of the 5FM Mash Lab after the public voted for them to collaborate. It's an unlikely combo, but it does. As work when well we're about to find out this is their music video for Deja Vu. Ebony and Ivory crossing the boundaries. Nowhere else I'd rather be. This world trap feed and lies to me. Always knew would be me and you. Just like Deja Vu. Just like Deja Vu. Like Deja Vu, just like Deja Vu. Too late to have regrets, too late to change my tune. I knew the day we met that I would follow soon. The moon up in the sky is shining like a shell. No time to say goodbye, no time to say farewell. The road is dusty now and I can smell the rain. And I believe somehow that you will heal my pain. I want you more and more, and be that right or wrong. I've seen your face before, and heard you sing my song. I always knew it would be me and you, just like Deja Vu, just like Deja Vu. I always knew it would be me and you, just like Deja Vu, just like Deja Vu. Bishop in a row, kids are getting lit. 